inspires you? My inspirations are drawn primarily from the world that surrounds me. So the journey per se is a very important aspect of my creation process. Journey from many different levels. So journey in time, journey in changes that we go through in our life. In particular, life experiencing and experiencing the world around us. It's a journey for me. In my art creation, I incorporate the multidimensional existence of all I see. What I mean by this, I, I'm trying to incorporate uh, the feelings and experience into my creative process. What I really love about creation is the sensation of creating textures, so being in the core of my painting technique. I mainly engage in direct hand contact between the canvas and paint, so you can see it on, on my paintings that they are hand paint made with. It allows me to sense the, the paints uh, and give the dimension to my work. I'm continuously alert uh, by abstract visions, places and views that I experience in my travels. So the work that I can see and experience during the travels and journeys, um, this is a really strong inspiration to my creative process. What will you show in Montserrat Gallery during Journey in Words show that is taking place in December? This collection is really close to my heart. The, the, the collection that will be shown in Montserrat Gallery very soon in December 2020 during the Journey in Words show is a part of a larger collection actually called Level Up 2. And the paintings that will be presented uh, in New York are inspired by a place uh, called Como Lake. It's a very intimate place that was created by my friends, uh, created actually from passion to life. I think what is really important that all, almost, you know, uh, already now over 20 years, my work has amended from fascination uh, for textures and colors. And um, the water and light, uh, and light created by nature uh, in this amazing place was a, was a main inspiration for this particular action. We are actually here very close to some other lake. Uh, I really, really enjoy the water and specific lakes and the nature that, that, uh, that is around it. What is the message you want to pass further with those paintings? Uh, you know what, I never I never tried to explain my work, but I always rather believed uh, that it has a voice of its own. I find a really great pleasure uh, in the fact that each viewer may read into my work with their unique personal interpretation. And you know, obviously, each of us has their own perspective, and this perspective may differ every day and is connected with our feelings and, and our, you know, uh, shape during this particular moment in our life. So I think everybody should take whatever is needed for them at this particular moment. Hello, my name is Basia Mariańska and I'm an artist, artist painter and a curator. I'm really happy to curate this show and I'm happy that I could make it. This is my first and last show this year in the brick and mortar gallery. And I brought wonderful artists from overseas and from different states of America. And uh, we are sharing, showing very interesting work. So everybody is invited to come and see this show. Uh, my work at the isolation time this year has been very intensive and I continued my work 
working on new techniques intensively. Uh, although I'm painting on canvases less than usual, I created about 55 new graphic arts and digital art. Uh, and I participated in the international and in, in, in national competitions and I got rewards and distinctions, which gave me a lot of satisfaction and uh, inspirations for the next uh, events. Um, this one, as I said, this is a show in the mortar, brick and mortar gallery, it's a one in this year. So, um, you know, um, this is, um, the, it wasn't easy to do it. And I chose my artists very carefully with different techniques and different subjects. And it's the contemporary show. So I invite everyone to this gallery, uh, Montserrat Gallery in Chelsea. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Beata and I am a painter from Poland. Painting is a very important part of my life and it still extremely fascinates me. I paint what interests and touches me at the moment. It all depends on the point of my life, where I am at the moment. What I paint is my individual paths resulting from my development, experiences, it is effects of everything that has happened in my life. When I'm painting, I'm searching for myself and telling the world about this internal journey. I paint usually with acrylic on canvas and sometimes on wood. Painting is a very addictive activity. I paint all the time. Even if I don't spread the paint on the canvas, new themes, compositions, colors, arise in my head anyway. I take inspiration from all areas of life, people, nature. I follow what I like and what I believe in. The heroine of my painting is a woman. I always talk about a woman and exactly about myself because I know myself best and my relations with the world. I'm trying to paint woman feelings. The words that we can't necessarily say out loud, but that we can read on a woman's face. In my opinion, painting should affect, should touch, never be indifferent. In my case, it takes place on the level of color, emotion, subconscious. But to tell the truth, I don't like telling about my paintings, because I have just painted what I want to say. And I always let the viewers analyze and interpret carefully. Because in my opinion, watching art is a very personal, intimate experience and doesn't need a guide, so I don't want to interfere. The viewers know best how to look and how to feel. I believe in their sensitivity and receptiveness. They are usually able to tell themselves much more about my paintings than I do. And quite often it happens that someone, while looking at my works, finds their stories in them. So, I don't think there is anything that communicates better than art. Enjoy my work! Hello, welcome to Danielle's Art. My name is Danielle Leitman. I was born in Poland, daughter of poets Julia Hartwig and Artur Międzyrzecki, in a house welcoming writers and artists. Mom had me in art classes before I even attended school, quizzed me on prints by old masters. Family pastime was museums. I studied art history, philosophy, art. My junior year at SUNY, I sold the Dodge Dart parents had left me and went on an art history tour of Western Europe on one dollar a day. I taught aesthetics at Columbia and Parsons and was a proud public school teacher in Brooklyn. I started painting on my own when I went on a somber mission to Warsaw, arranged for mom's ashes to be buried alongside my dad's and settled the family estate. 
I found myself standing in an empty room of my childhood, about to invite friends and neighbors to say farewell, and wondering how to best give tribute to this amazing couple, my parents, whose vibrant, exciting lives I had witnessed there. I realized I had to create something new in their memory, like a phoenix rising out of the ashes. And so I did. Until then, I had painted with students or in classes. This would be a first on my own. Parents as beacons in my mind and heart, I created my first large painting and then another. The farewell party evolved into my first solo art opening. The second one was in a nearby apartment. I met other Warsaw artists. A new gallery, Spectrum, hosted my work. The second exhibit was sold out. 12 exhibits in 12 months, a jury award in Italy. I was then, as now, inspired by my parents, as well as nature, stars, sky, ocean, my mentors, Jackson Pollock, Helen Frankenthaler. I use acrylics and canvas. I rework each painting until it pleases me. Often I find that it pleases viewers as well. How do you view my art? My art makes me feel at home. I see it as a kind of jewelry for the walls. What you see is what you get. 66 paintings in my splash series have only numbers. Viewers are free to conjure their own abstract or figurative read. In New York, the last group exhibit preceded the lockdowns of COVID-19. Home is again Northeast Pennsylvania. In Warsaw, my designer friends continue to incorporate my work in their projects. I dedicate my work to my mom and dad. What started as a sad mission to Warsaw yielded a way to commemorate my parents' creativity through my own art. St. Augustine once said, what is time? If no one asks me, I know. When I have to explain to someone who is asking, I do not know. A similar situation occurs when I am painting. I know how the painting has to be made, what parts to use and how to build up the piece. However, if you ask me what it is, I will not answer. The interpretation is up to you. A painting is a window through which you can observe what is behind it. You can also go through it and find yourself in a space full of emotions. You can focus on how flat the canvas is, analyze its composition, the proportions of the elements, explore how dependent the colors are on each other. But you can also look into the work intuitively, go into its metaphysical depths. It started with Kandinsky, who got to abstract art through color, Mandarin however used form. My favorite master was Julian Steinchak, the creator of op art. His creations are an inspiration for me. I have admired this artist even more, considering I have so many tools to help me at my hands. A computer with a program I can design anything with, and a cutting machine for paper so that I can make anything very easily. Going back to my works, until now I lived in a large city and painted architecture. I used bright paint colors and the shapes, and I imitated the reality surrounding me. Today I live next to the beach and I cannot paint New York City without its energy and the city noise. Here I became more metaphysical, more connected to nature and its mathematical rules, the golden division and the Fibonacci sequence. Kandinsky, looking at grains of sand, saw the form. I, however, in pieces of sand, see the world surrounding me. I just have to put it together in the area of the painting. These pieces of sand can be everything that is around us. I can change the shapes of these pieces and place them on a painting as they become the base fragments. Other elements I fit into their own places so that they work together and create a harmony in the space as well as in the form and color. 
The correlation between color, form, points, and lines becomes the base of the project. Every element has to complement the next one, build up the mood and the emotions. Sometimes they are a reflection of reality. Always, however, they write their own story.